we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Kansas City Royals and the Chicago White Sox. Now at the plate, Max Kepler. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. A 1-1 is in there for the second strike. And we'll need to keep the hot chocolate flowing tonight. 42 degrees our game time temperature. And it's fouled away. The 1-2. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. So here's the Royals DH, Willie Calhoun, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Oh, pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Three and two to the Royals designated hitter. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. And he lays off here ball four and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous okay. off-speed pitch. Three and two now. Ready with the payoff pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. So a runner at first with two away, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. The 1 1 home. swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Into the box now Trey Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two and one the count to Trey Turner. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He's one for three. Two and two. Here now the two two. Hit on the ground out to short. Albies picks it up. And a good throw gets him one gone. So one away here with the bases empty. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. A one one. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's the second out. Josh Bell the next to hit. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. The three and one pitch. Now Bell swings and launches one to right. Out of here into the visitors bullpen. In now J.D. Martinez. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Down the third baseline. Oh, and this goes right past him. The throw into second. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. That is good. The right field. At the plate Ready. now, Chris Bryant. Oh, yeah. Two and one as he misses with the slurve there. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Bryant looking at a three and one count. 
the three and one pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. At the plate, Elo Jimenez. And the White Sox looking for more here in the game's opening frame. From the stretch, the one two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go three two and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Full count, three balls and two strikes. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get, and that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. Stepping into the box, Eugenio Suarez. He could really open this lead up early if he can deliver here with the bases loaded. Hit out towards second, and that's through into center field. Base hit, one run scores. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 3-0 game. So now to the plate, J.T. Real Muto. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. Gone! Ramon Marquez comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Into the box now, D.J. LeMayhew. Hit hard, but foul. The one-two. This is line to left. Soto is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Digging in now for Kansas City, Mike Moustakis. And they are squarely into chip away mode, looking at a 6 0 deficit already in this one. Lots of baseball left. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. To the plate now, Gio Urshela. Center field. Turner is right there, one down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Yasmani Grandal. The 1-1. One, one. Had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat will be Jesse Winker. The 2 1. Winker. Hard hit toward the hole. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Stepping in now, Ozzy Albies. And he misses again, ball three. Called strike and that'll run it full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Bryant is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up one of the fastest players in all the land, Trey Turner. Now the one and one pitch. Well, that's off the plate. Hit on the ground out to short. Albies brings it in. And that's the first down. Digging in to try it again. Fernando Tatis Jr. 
He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. So a runner at first with one out now. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And another foul ball. Tatis leads off first with one away. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Mm, three and two. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. And that is down as that could be two bases. And this will get all the way to the wall now. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. Now batter, the designated hitter, J.D. Standing in now, J.D. Martinez. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington okay. rules it ball four. The right fielder, Red. Now the 2 1 pitch. First and second now, one man out. Again, he sends it out of play. Another try at 2 2. Right back to the mound could be an easy two. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Count is one and two now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. Here now the 2 2. Fouled off. And now Kepler belts one, carrying well out to right field. Gone! to lead off the inning. Into the box, Willie Calhoun. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Here now is Juan Soto. 0 for 1 here in the early going. 2 and 1. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And that's down into left center for a base hit. The first baseman, number 35, Cody Bellinger. At the plate, Cody Bellinger. One and two. One ball. Runner at first here, one man out. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Hit hard, but foul. And it's fouled away. Full count to Bellinger, three balls, two strikes. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. 
He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Cody Bellinger is out number two here in the third inning. And here's the 3-2 from him. And he fouls this one off. To third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Bell at first, and his side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Eloy Jimenez. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at-bat. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. One out here in the Shy Sox third, and that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's in for a base hit, his second in as many trips to the plate. Next to Chicago, the catcher. In now, JT Real Muto. Real hit on the ground to third. Reined in to second for one. On to first. And for the second time in three innings, they've bounced into a double play. And with this one, the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. Ready for another chance? Gio Urshela. He flew out in his last at bat. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So now to the plate, Yosmani Grandal. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Coming to the plate now, Jesse Winker, one for one after a single his first time up. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. Three runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Drives it to deep right field. Right fielder looking up, and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. To the plate now, Ozzie Albies. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Both teams with six hits so far. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Real Muto goes to get it, makes the throw to first, two down. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. He's one for two in this one. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Late. DJ LeMayhew comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. 1 and 2 to DJ LeMayhew. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second. The center fielder, number 13, Ray Turner. At the plate now, Trey Turner. Two and one count to the Pale Hose leadoff hitter. 
and this is on the inside edge perhaps off the inside edge but it's a called strike two and two now from the stretch and he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two hard hit ball to short Ah, but the throw will be well late so a good play but it's off or not as that'll be an infield single into the box Fernando Tatis Jr. counts a ball and two strikes to the White Sox shortstop nearly got the inside but ruled the ball That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however, over to Albies. Turn throw is in time, and what do you know? They do get the double play. Ready for another shot now. Josh Bell, runner in scoring position with two gone. Now the one and one pitch. This won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time. Two and two. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Stepping in, Juan Soto. Last time through was a base hit. Fouled away. Fastball just missed above the zone. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Lance Lynn enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Cody Bellinger will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Two and one to the Royals first baseman. A couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Hard hit ball to second. Gloved by LeMayhew. On to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. ready to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up J.D. Martinez it was a walk in his last trip even at a ball and a strike here's the pitch hit high and deep out to left field and that is off the wall up next to Chicago the right field standing in now Chris Bryant on a rope to the second baseman but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play now back digging in Emo Jimenez he's 0 for 1 thus far the 1 1 home waves and misses for strike number two I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. The 2-2 is taken, but called strike three as he might have gotten a little extra off the plate that time. So a runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big-time power hitters in the league, a Eugenio Suarez. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Nope. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. 
Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Kepler will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Stepping in, Mike Moustakis. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And the payoff pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now that will bring in Giovanni Urshela, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And in that last at-bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball, and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now that the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. In now, Yasmani Grandal. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. No, Sean Manaya takes over on the mound here now with nobody out in the sixth time. inning. Number 55. Stepping in now, Jesse Winker. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So up steps Ozzie Albies. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 1 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Max Kepler. He was a ground out victim last time up. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. And that's off his leg on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Ready now, JT Real Muto. He was a double play victim last time around. Now the 2 1. Taken on the outside corner for strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. A full count, three balls and two strikes. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. How about it? Trying to pick things up where we left off. DJ LeMayhew have hit in two tries for him so far. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches. Attack the strike zone early. A lot of deep counts and working himself into a lot of trouble. On its way is pitch number 75. Three and one now. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Three two pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. And that's in there. Base hit. Up next to the right side. Into the box now. Trey Turner sent toward first. Over to Albies. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. One out for Chicago here in the sixth. And that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. The 2-1 home is swung on and missed and that's strike two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side.
New inning set to get underway. Stepping into the box, Willie Calhoun. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Grounded to first. Bell picks it up, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Juan Soto to the plate now. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Seven runs, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Still two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Juan Soto is the second out in the seventh inning. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Tyler Glasnow gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. In now, Josh Bell. A match up with Tyler Glasnow to lead off the inning. Now the one and one pitch. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. He throws him on the fastball there. Josh Bell is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Glasnow utilizes a good curveball as a part of his arsenal, but it's not just your... Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. One with first following the error. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in... And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Now oh, so now to the plate, Elo Jimenez. Fastball is outside. It's full now, three and two. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And as is heard on television all throughout Chicago land, you can't put it on the board. Yes! Freddie Peralta takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. At the plate now, Eugenio Suarez. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88-mile-an-hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. So it was a swinging strike three. Eugenio Suarez becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Kepler is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Kenta Maeda has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Stepping up now, Mike Mustakis. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Here it comes on one and one. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. 
Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. A ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Ready now for the White Sox. DJ LeMayhew. So far, two for three in this one. The 1 1 home. Two balls, one strike. Their count now at two and two. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep, and it's gone as they add still another. To the plate now, Trey Turner. Full count now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And he looks at ball four now, so he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Three two pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Line toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. Turner isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. The tag, and he's in there as they push the lead to five now. Josh James is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Standing in now, Josh Bell. In there, one and two now. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. Tatis rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate. And it's now a six-run lead. Up next to the white guy, the designated hitter. Into the box, J.D. Martinez. The count is full, three and two to the White Sox D.H. Into the corner and slicing foul. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. In now, Chris Bryant. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Emo Jimenez will be next. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Heading after it is Kepler. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the back. inning. Left fielder. Stepping oh up to the plate, Emo Jimenez. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. That last at-bat, he didn't crush that changeup for a home run, but listen... 
a home run is a home run. This guy's awfully strong, and he can hit it out to any part of the ballpark. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now to the plate, Eugenio Suarez. He went down on strikes last time up. The one-two. High and deep to right center. Kepler is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. All set for the start of the inning. So striding forward now, Jesse Winker. He's two for three and looking for more here. Three and two, a full count to the Royal center fielder. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite them. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. Stepping in now, Ozzie Albies. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. Weak roller right side. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now back. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Max Kepler. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. The batter, number five. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. And that misses 2 and 1. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Turner is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, listen, you don't always want your closer to have to go two innings on a regular basis, but in this game, it was necessary for this one, and he had just enough to get the job done. 15 to 8 is the way this one ends. Chicago jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Sean Manaya takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home safely.